What's going on guys? Out there here with another video and I want to talk about um Tazariok from I think it's IJ UJC or something like that. Um IJ UIC or something. Um one of these one of these places. Uh these Hebrew Israelite camps. And it has been confirmed that he has died allegedly from COVID-19. The virus that we've all been hearing about the virus that currently has us in a state of lockdown social distancing whatever you want to call it uh, but anyway I think that his particular camp has just released a statement saying that it is confirmed that, that he died now I was kind of going to make a video about this when I first heard it but I just wanted to make sure that I had all of the facts I didn't just want to just jump out there and just say, hey, you know, I think this guy died and let me just give my two cents. I wanted to make sure that all of the facts were out there. I wanted it to be confirmed before I actually said anything. So, yeah, Captain Cesariok, Um, And for those who don't know who he is, he has called himself and even the camp uh, has called him the comforter. Okay. And he is the he is referring to, him, to himself as the comforter, which is mentioned in, I think, John 14 and 26, when Jesus says that uh, he is going to leave a comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, um, to basically lead and guide, guide us within truth. You know, and I'm just paraphrasing. But um, but yeah, you can go ahead and read John 14 and 26. Um, but that's who he say that he is. He believes that he was the Holy Spirit, so to speak, incarnate. Um, and this is the same claim that was made by, that is made by Muslims when it pertains to Muhammad. They believe that uh, Muhammad is the, is the, uh, uh, is the Holy Spirit, right? He is the one who will come down and give everyone truth. You know, and I just find that, you know, kind of interesting when, when you have, you know, one guy in a totally different religion you know, in Islam saying that, that he is the Holy Spirit. And now you got this guy who's a Hebrew Israelite, you know, living today saying that he's the Holy Spirit. But, you know, anyway, I just, I just digress from that. But from a basic reading of the Bible, okay, we know that the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit all co-equally existed, um, you know, in eternity past, basically meaning that you know, in eternity, before time even started, they, they had already coexisted. So for this guy to basically say that he is or was the comforter, um, that is blasphemy. And, you know, just to put it out there, and I'm not making this video to try to um, bash Hebrew Israelites or try to bash this, this, this certain sect or even try to bash this guy. Um, you guys know when it comes to me and it comes to this Bible, I'm always going to put the scripture up, you know, if I have an opinion, I'll just say, Hey, that's my opinion. You know, um, don't quote me on this, but when it comes to certain things and when people say certain things that pertain to the Bible, that pertain to scripture, you know, my thing is that we always going to go back to scripture and fact check it. You see what I'm saying? Because it is very, very serious to claim that God has said something when he has it. You see what I'm saying? Back in the day, back in the time of the real Israelites, not, you know, these fake, you know, pseudo Israelites running around today just making claims saying that, you know, that they're Israelites. But when you lived in the back of the land, of, back in the land of Israel, um, you were to be put to death for that, claiming that God said something when he didn't, and especially if someone tested it. And they basically came to a consensus to say that, hey, we all read scripture. We are reading these passages and what you're saying is false. Um, that was something that was, you know, that 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 was a death sentence. They, they didn't play about that. So this guy called himself the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit. Now, I just want to say that all Hebrew Israelites do not believe in this. All camps do not believe in this because, you know, there's going to be some who's going to get on here and they're going to wait gonna get five seconds into the video. Oh, we don't believe in that. Everybody don't believe in that. <laughs> so I'm just putting it out there. I mean, duh, we all know that everyone doesn't believe in that. So what I want to say is that not all Hebrew Israelites believe in this. OK, but my main point of this video is that 
you have a God who made this claim. Okay, he basically has put himself equal to God. Now, there may be some claims from his camp saying, no, that's not what he did. Yes, it is. When we read scripture in this context, okay, and scripture in this context says that the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit has equally coexisted in eternity, <laughs> you know, and he's calling himself the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, according to John 14, 26. That is what he's doing. He's making himself equal to God, okay? Um, and that's very dangerous. It's very, very dangerous. Like I said, that's, that's blasphemy. And I wanted to touch on that because here's a guy, and I don't, and I don't know exactly how old he was. I think he was in his 40s. And, you know, he made this erroneous claim. Okay, now, when we look at his life, his life, um, you know, before he passed, I think he had been in trouble with the law. He had got arrested a couple of times. And this is after he claimed to be the comforter. Um, he's been arrested. Um, I think he was caught up in some, you know, adulterous sexual relationship with some other women or something. And, you know, I think he was... Um, uh, I think that he was caught in a relationship with some stripper or something like that. Some some crazy stuff. And this is a guy who called himself, who has made himself equal to God. Who has made himself the Holy Spirit that, that the Lord Jesus Christ was talking about that he would send. So he's saying that the Lord Jesus Christ sent him. Sent him down to reveal the truth. Um, what Whatever that means. I guess I guess it just meant, you know, whatever his Hebrew is like Kemp says, that that's, that's the truth. But, you know, now this guy has died and now he's had to face judgment, you know, in front of Christ, the one and only true living God. And you've gone and made all these erroneous claims about Christ sending you. And now you have now you actually got to go and meet him. And I, you know, and, and this to me, I, I even get chill bumps thinking about that. Like, can you imagine making all of these erroneous claims about what Christ has said and who Christ has told you who you are and you go and you meet him knowing in your mind that this is not what has happened you know this is this has not happened and you've had another agenda and you've lived out your agenda and you know you come up with this with this virus unfortunately and you die and you have to meet God. You have to stand face to face and face judgment. You see what I'm saying? And this is why a lot of times um, us as Christians, you know, we are addressing a lot of people in the Hebrew Israelite community. And we don't just address you guys. We address other people. We even address other Christians who are profaning the name of Christ. You know, they're professing to be Christians, but they're out living you know, double lives and stuff like that. You know, they're, you know, they're all basically going to reach the same fate if they don't repent. And this is why we preach the gospel in repentance and in truth. Because for all of you who are Hebrew Israelites, and, you know, even those who are may not, may not be Hebrew Israelites, but unbelievers, I mean, just think about that for a second. Are you 100% sure that what you are believing in is directly from God? Like, there is no refuting it. It's ironclad. You know 100% for sure that you are correct and you are following the right doctrine. If And I mean, I want you to be real with yourself because this is very important. With this disease going out here, any one of you can catch it and any one of you can die from it. All right? Especially if the, guy, if, if the Lord ordains it to be. You don't know when you're going to die. You can... You could be listening to this in your car driving and God forbid you end up in a, in a fatal accident. So can you as a Hebrew Israelite, I'm talking to you guys right now, can you 100% for sure say that what you're following right now, everything that you believe about the Bible and you being God's chosen people and all of that, can you say for sure that this is correct and that you are 100% representing God accurately and that your theology and what you believe and what you know about God 
is 100% backed up by scripture. Because if you die, and I'm just telling you, this is what the Bible says. If you die and you are off and you have a different belief in God and you have perverted what he has said and you don't have a clear understanding of what he says and you die in that ignorance, then he's going to tell you, just like he said in, in the book of Matthew, where he says there's going to be a lot of people in, you know, in the last days saying, Lord, Lord, you know, didn't I... Um, did not prophesy, did not do all of these signs and wonders, did not did, did not do all of these things in your name. And if you are not correct, it's I mean, woe woe unto you. This is why we preach the gospel because we want you guys to understand that what you are saying or what you are believing in does not align with scripture, and that's because we're actually reading the scripture and we don't see an example of what you're telling us in the Bible. It's not there. So, I mean, just like, you know, Tazariak, he has met, he has stood in front of Christ and he has faced judgment. And I'm going to tell you like this, according to the Bible, he is not sitting at the right hand of Christ right now. He is not at the table. He's not there. He's not in paradise. Now, if he repented of his sins, and he really gave his life to Christ and he repented before he died, which none of us know. But based on his actions, based on what we've seen from him before he died, he's not there. He is not there. And if you have any questions or any doubts about what you're believing in as a Hebrew Israelite, I seriously, and I'm telling you this. Uh, I seriously hope that you're actually going to watch this video and get along with that Bible and read exactly what it says and address the issues that you have. All of the things that, that, that you believe, if you have any questions about what you believe, I honestly tell you, get into that book and you read it, you know, because you won't be the only one if you do come out of the Hebrew Israelite movement. You won't be the only one. There's others who's come out of the Hebrew Israelite movement and the Lord has awakened them to the real truth, not to the not to the fake Hebrew Israelite truth, to the Hebrew Israelite lie, I should say. And once again, the same video bashing the Hebrew Israelites, but I'm letting you guys know how serious it is. You can die at any moment. And if you are following these same teachings and holding on to the same teachings as this guy Tazariok, even if you just hold on to a piece of it, you may say, well, I don't, you know, follow the camps and, and, and I don't follow exactly what he said. But if you agree with him on his theology, when it comes to who God is and who God's people are, and if you agree on that, then you're off and you're going to meet the same fate that he's going to meet. So I just wanted to put it out there, you guys. And, you know, you know, let's let's keep the. Let's keep Tazariok's uh, family. Is, is it Tazariok? Uh, Tazadaki, I'm sorry. Tazariok is the other guy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't mean Tazariok. My apologies. It's not, it's not Tazariok. It's, it's uh, Tazadaki. You know, uh, Jermaine Grant is that guy. Um, so if I've been saying Tazariok the whole time, <laughs> please forgive me. It's uh, Tazadaki. And, you know, we just want to keep that guy's family um, in, in our prayers. And we just hope, man, that, that a lot of you guys come up out of that. You know, it's it's falsehood. It's, it's fake. This ain't no Christian versus Hebrew Israelite thing. You know, like, this is serious, man. This is serious. You know, I mean, this man started off his year probably not even thinking that he was going to die. This could be the year that you die. This could be the week. This could be the month. This could be the day. So where do you stand with Christ? Um, and also before, but before I get off, there was something else that uh, I watched a clip where a lot of people might be trying to say that, that he was martyred. Okay. Um, and this is probably what's going to happen because I know that he made a clip. I think it was back in December or something saying that, you know, there's going to be martyrs and, you know, some of us were going to die for this, for this truth and all of this stuff here. Now that he's dead, that's probably going to be used as saying that, oh, well, you know, he, he was martyred. You know, he, he's a martyr. 
Uh, first of all, that's wrong on a couple of reasons because, first of all, uh, if he was the Holy Spirit, then that means that he was eternal. He doesn't have a beginning, a beginning and an end. Um, he had a beginning and an end. Okay, he was born and then he died. Holy Spirit is not born and the Holy Spirit does not die. Okay, second of all, when we're talking about martyrdom, we're talking about people who are carrying out, who are consistent with their faith. Okay, like the Christian martyrs um, and the apostles, they were martyred because they were consistent in their faith. And they died because someone told them, because people were telling them not to carry out the faith that they've been carrying out okay and a lot of these um apostles die at the hands of israelites okay check check your sources do your research they died at the hand of israelites these are christian christian martyrs okay um a lot of them died at the hand of israelites of people of israel um because of their faith so um tazadakia is not he, he's not a a, uh, a martyr in, in no sense you know he was a man living on this planet he had a different theology than what we find in the bible um, unfortunately uh, by God's sovereignty he caught a disease and he died it's not, there's, there's nothing noble about that um, you know he didn't sacrifice himself you know it wasn't like somebody came against him and, and, and killed him because of what he was teaching you know, so before we start jumping off into these conspiracy theories and before a lot of you jump out there and you're just like, oh, yeah, you know, the, the government poisoned him because he was out there speaking the truth and somebody slipped on some COVID-19 and he died. And don't 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 even go down that road. Don't even go down that road. But anyway, guys, um, you know, as always, guys, you know, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Um, if you like what you see, like what you heard. Like, rate, share, comment, subscribe, and uh, you guys have a blessed day.